Let's start by taking a look at a presentation created with InDesign and In5. I'm going to use the keyboard to navigate. I can also click with my mouse. You can see when I move the mouse, the cursor appears, and then it goes away after I stop moving it. I'm currently in full screen mode right now, and you can see the bullets are building one at a time, and the previous bullet fades back a bit to highlight the current bullet. I can also build the animations one at a time, so I'm actually clicking the forward arrow right now. I could click the space bar, or the down arrow, or click the mouse, and it's just doing these animations one at a time. In addition to all the things you might expect from any other presentation software, we can also take advantage of all the interactivity that InDesign and In5 present. So this is actually a multi-state object, and I've used In5 to create a flip card widget with it. On the back side of the card, these are some of the things that we can take advantage of in InDesign that we can do better than with PowerPoint or Keynote. We can have object states and buttons that control those object states and other things. We can add audio and video that works cross-platform. We can embed other HTML, like from animation software, so we can have really complex animation in here. We can take advantage of InDesign's advanced master pages and all the styling, instead of being limited to those few styles available in PowerPoint. And we can also use custom navigation, so we could tailor our presentation to different audiences by clicking and jumping around in the presentation just by building navigation inside of InDesign. For the next video, let's take a look at how we set that up in InDesign.